say it's a place you'll hear people referring to a lot throughout the show. You hear the news? McCarter will so and so up to your town the other day. Is that so? What did he do? Oh, such and such, I hear. Well, what do you know? Old so and so. It's kind of a mythical place. You understand? A bad place. A place you won't see until Act Two, and then. Well, let's just say it's filled with symbolism and things like that. <laughs> but you're in town, the musical. Well, here we are. Welcome. It takes place in a town, like any town, that you might find in a musical. This here is the first setting for the show. As the sign says, it's a public amenity, meaning public toilet. These people have been waiting for hours to get in. It's the only amenity they can afford to get into. Say, Austin Lockstock, is this where you tell the audience about the water shortage? What's that, little Sally? Oh, you know, the water shortage. The hard times, the drought, a shortage so awful, private toilets eventually became unthinkable. A premise so... Oh, hey, little Sally. Not all at once. They'll hear more about the water shortage in the next scene. Oh, I guess you don't want to overload them with too much exposition, huh? Everything in its time, little Sally. You're too young to understand it now, but nothing can kill a show like too much exposition. How about that subject matter? Well, or if that time leave, even that could kill a show pretty good. Well, little Sally, suffice to say that in your in town, the musical, everyone has to use public bathrooms in order to take care of their private business. That's the central conceit of the show. Welcome to Urin Town, the musical. 